Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, from a warm but very windy Tenerife South Airport here in the Canary Islands. I am super excited today. I'm flying on the 757, the mighty 757, back to Manchester. It's a plane that I've loved for years and years. I have really good childhood memories flying on the 757 down here with long forgotten airlines like Air Europe back in the late 80s. I'm really excited. I'm in fact so excited. My hands are shaking. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just joking. Or am I? So, join me on today's happy adventures back up to Manchester. Flight time about 4 hours 20 minutes. We've got a really nice emergency exit row 33 seats on the way back up. And hopefully, hopefully, a chicken curry. And then in amongst all of that, I'll tell you a bit more about the 757 story. So welcome to 757, the movie. With a brutal spike in the price of oil in the late 70s, twinned with the popular but aging aircraft of the era, such as the British-built Trident and Boeing 727, both of which had three engines and three flight crew, the industry was crying out for something new, more efficient, able to fly further, and bringing in modern comfort. That's what they got. Launched on the 1st of January 1983 with partner airline Eastern, the Boeing 757 was born. State-of-the-art automation removed the third crew member and that third engine was also gone. The 757 brought in levels of comfort that had previously only been seen on wide-body aircraft and airlines could fly further than ever before on just two engines. In the 40 years since launch, the 757 has been operated by many varied airlines and governments. EasyJet had a small fleet of 757s, and I would often go out of my way to fly on one domestically with British Airways over the more modern Airbus. It was even the aircraft of choice of one former US president. But one thing's for sure, the 757 would make you smile wherever you went. So back to flight one. I should explain, ladies and gentlemen, that as far as the 757 goes... So impressed, I bought the company. Oh, I'm not Victor Kayam, and I haven't bought a 757, or indeed an airline. But tonight's flight is the first of two back-to-back -to -back Tenerife trips. I'm flying back to Manchester tonight, then flying right back down to Tenerife tomorrow to try another 757 tomorrow night. The first of our two 757 flights is on Alpha Charlie now 30 years old and having first seen service with Air Transat of Canada. With a four hour delay to tonight's flight, not the fault of the mighty 757 I might add, we've got an extra spacious seat for our very late 11pm departure. Let's take a look around. I'm slowly working my way through all of the pre-bookable Jet 2 hot meals. This one is the Thai Massaman Beef Curry, and like all Jet 2 hot meals, is very nice. Jet 2 is the only airline on this route where you can pre-order a specific choice of meal, and the thing about vlogging is you rarely get much downtime, so I highly value this option. 757 gives you the option to book this insanely large seating area. On the map here, it's seat 12E. Absolutely the best seat in the house and cost 39 euro one way with the meal an extra 13 euro Fed and watered it's now 1 a.m. Somewhere off the Portuguese coast with many passengers asleep me. I'm too excited. I love this aircraft So it's time for toilet cam in every jet 2 toilet. There's someone watching you perform your functions today It's a happy family diving into the sea on my next Jet 2 toilet trip, it's something a lot hairier. Check out these old taps, this really brings back memories. And by the power of video editing, 
the very next day, I'm back at Tenerife South Airport, watching my ride back for day two. The second of our 757s and my ride tonight is 35-year-old Alpha India, having been extensively damaged some years ago during a landing in Spain. She simply dusted herself off and got back in the air, because that's what 757s do. With a different seat and meal to look at today, sadly I have a Mr Grumpy sat next to me. But for now, let me stay quiet so you can enjoy the views of my favourite island in the world as we head back to Manchester. Check out those old panels. As a child, I pressed that to call the attendant and blamed it on my brother. I was a truly horrid child. Today's seat, a painful 33A, one to avoid if you fly the Jet 2 757. The emergency chute, as you can see, really takes up leg space. With the tray tables handed out, it's nearly time for today's meal, but not before we see the top of Mount Tady as we head north. As we're reminded, coffee can be, well, hot. Sadly, people do sue airlines for getting hot coffee. Fortunately, I remembered that coffee can be, um, well, hot. If you choose a hot drink, remember to use the lid we've given you, as well as the cup holder, just to be on the safe side. Once you've finished your food and drink, please put your face mask back on straight away. And don't forget, as part of our friendly onboard together policy, you can only drink alcohol that is served by us. Here's my coffee, with hot warning, just in case I'd forgotten. Today's meal, the chicken tikka masala. Is two airline curries in two days a good idea? Well, we'll see in a few hours. As always though, a decent meal for the money from Jet2, unlike my previous flight with Tui, where they had nothing. No looking around you can see the old girl like me is no spring chicken, but to me that's the appeal. She's proven her worth, reliable, dependable and comfortable, just like an old sofa really. Here's a staring out of the window clip while I tell you about my really supportive Patreon supporters. It's friends like James, Joe, Joshua and Kieran who have helped me reach this month's milestone of 2,000 subscribers. Every penny raised from Patreon is reinvested into the channel, so thanks a million to everyone who has been so supportive. On that note, if you do like the videos, please do subscribe. It costs nothing and I do bring a wide variety of travel reviews including airlines, ships, trains and a whole lot more every month, with plenty more planned in 2022.
for now, sit back and relax to the Jet 2 sales pitch, one of many on board. Oh, why not try something of our beauty range? We do have the highest quarry tech deal with refresh after your holiday. The price is just £29.20. You are saving a massive £35. This year's favourite includes our new old boss duo set. This does come with two 40 mil aftershaves and he's priced at £90 pounds on the high street, but you can pick it up board. An interesting fact. When the pitch started, it was light outside. By the time it finished, it was dark. But with the two curries moving along nicely, it's toilet cam time. Again, I'm very impressed with those 35-year-old taps. They've really aged quite well. And I'm joined today in the toilet by a camel. You can actually ride camels in Tenerife. I've done so myself. But now for the Jet 2 toilet sales pitch. You can't even take a pee without them selling you something. All our sandwiches and toasters are now half price. Although they no longer include the reduced price to crisps. Whatever you choose, we'll serve you at your seat. So be our guest and enjoy. By now, you're probably interested in buying your very own 757. Well, I found this one just 12,000 hours on the clock. 22 years old, fitted out to a high standard, and yours for just $10 million. I've launched my very own Buy Me A 757 crowdfund. I'm just joking. Please don't contribute. It is just for fun. So the 757. By now, you've probably guessed that this is my absolute favourite aircraft of all time. For four decades, this machine has transported millions of us around the world safely, comfortably and dependably. This is an aircraft that was just as at home flying between Manchester and Heathrow as it was flying long haul between the US and Europe. There has never been an aircraft like it and there will never be again with Boeing simply opting to prolong the life of the even older 737. This is an aircraft designed in an era when Boeing was about passion and excellence. This was Boeing's finest hour, and it's an era that modern Boeing can only dream about these days. Sadly, many airlines have retired their 757 fleets now, but the good news is that in Europe, both Jet2 and Condor remain firm operators of the 757, as does Delta in the US. But with contract signed as Jet2 looks to an Airbus future, this remarkable 35-year-old 757 I'm on tonight won't be around forever, so I urge you to try one whilst you still can. With thanks to Paul at Living at Large Aviation and Boeing Archives for providing some of today's footage, I'll say thanks for watching and see you next time.